Hi, I'm Christina from York Professional Care and Education. I'm a nature educator and camp director, and I'm here today to talk to you about webbing. So webbing is a really cool material to bring into your nature programs. Uh, it complements rope really nicely. It is different than rope, has slightly different uses, but what's neat about it is you care for it the exact same way as you would your rope. So you keep it clean, you keep it dry, you keep it stored securely. Uh, you make sure there's no knots in it, although this is not as prone to knotting as rope is just by the shape of it. And actually that's the main thing you're gonna know that, notice that's different about it from a traditional rope. So you can see much like, it's very much like ribbon. So it's flat, it's smooth. It is actually made out of a tube and on some of them, like this one, you are in fact able to, to see that where, where you can see it's a full tube, but it's generally used as a flat piece. You can tell my pieces here are getting a bit dirty. Um, the thing about this is none of these are currently uh, weight bearing pieces. So these can be really great for swings. Um, I've tied other pieces, suitable pieces, up to goalposts on soccer fields and use them like swings for children, let them explore. Um, so they have, they're really neat because of that, that flatness. They're a lot more comfortable than a lot of ropes, uh, but they do have different breaking strengths, which means uh, they don't perform exactly the same. So as we're thinking about using this in our programs, a couple of things we need to consider is um, thinking about the right use for the right piece. This piece, again, has a very different function than this piece, uh, length and things like that. So I hope you're excited to add webbing into your program. Uh, one of the great things about it is it is what's used as a raccoon circle. So if you've had any interaction with the experiential learning community, experiential education community, you may have encountered raccoon circles. They're a favorite technique of mine, especially in my camp programs. Uh, and this is what, these are my raccoon circles. So we're going to share with you in future a number of different activities uh, that you can do with them that are more leadership based. But really, uh, if you bring them into your programs, you can try and use them in different ways. Um, and.